Welcome to what I made this week, but this is for the previous week. Because <laughs> we're, we're at Monday now, and I was going to post this on Sunday, but whew, things got overbooked <laughs> as far as like my schedule went. So I wasn't able to get to this yesterday. So I am going to catch you up on all of the things that I made um, all the way through Sunday because I finished making something on Sunday, didn't I? I could swear I did. Yes, 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 I did. Sunday was the day that I did my, um, the painting and art. <laughs> okay. How are you? I hope you're doing great. I hope you've been having a good week. And if it hasn't been a good week, I hope your head is still a little bit above water. <laughs> and I hope you're taking some time to relax, rest, and recover so you can get back at it. So I <laughs> um, hope that that is where you are at. So anyway, let's start with what I made this week. Um, just to recap, I made several things. I also, um, made some earrings because for the month of April, I am making a pair of earrings every day for the month of April. Some of the earrings that I made, I did not post a tutorial for, and that's because I followed someone else's tutorial for those. So I will call that out when I show them to you so you can see. Um, but I'll also put a link to the tutorials that I made in the description so you can watch those videos if you didn't get to those. And I'll put a link to the videos for the tutorials from other people as well so you can watch their videos as well. So the first thing I did was I made this Strawberry Fields asymmetrical necklace last week and it has these heart chains for a tassel. It's got this big old chonker heart. It's got the chunky um, chain on one side, it's got the beads on the other side, and it's got some strawberries, and it's just a lot of fun, a lot of fun to wear, and it was fun to make. And then I also, for my earrings that day, I made these guys. Look how long they are. Y'all, my neck is not long enough for this, and I love it. Look at that. I'm just going to shake my head for about a minute. You can fast forward if you want to. You don't have to watch me do this, but oh my gosh, this long, pink, love them, love them, love them. Anyway, so that was the first thing that I did. And then, let me undo this. I'm sort of like really having a moment with front closure necklaces. I just am into them right now and I'm okay with that. Honestly, I think they're a lot of fun. And then I made a bracelet with the Rainy Day Blues Soft Flex Design Kit and I added some of the same pearlesque chain from Silver Silk. Let me hide myself so you can see this better. Nope. It's fine. Um, the same chain that I used for the, uh, the Eclipse necklace that I made the other day. And I was smart and I made myself a little dangle to hang on to when I do this. And if my other hands work, because I, I have two of them, so... One of them is doing a darn good job of holding that and the other one. There you go. So I made my bracelet and then I made some dangly cluster earrings with some wire wrapped briolettes. And I even made the ear wires with some of the blue soft flex craft wire. And now the thing about the soft flex craft wire, the, the colored craft wire, not the, um, the silver plated is that it is a bit of a softer wire. So I just have to be careful with them, even though I work hard on them, they can still bend a little bit if I'm like, you know, hard on them. But for the most part, I find that the ear wires that I make with these, they hold up pretty well, as long as I'm not, you know, going nuts with them. They will, they will hold the earrings in my ears, which is essentially their job. So they do their job. And then I I think the next thing that I did was probably the super simple earrings that I made during my unboxing from the curated bead box with these blue and red earrings just stacked on some head pins make a loop at the top 
is the easiest and fastest way to make handmade earrings and it is it is so simple and like when you don't have a lot of time that day and you just need to make something it's such a great find some beads find a head pin get some ear wires and you're done you know it can take five minutes and have something work out right for you that day and so that's what happened with this one and then I think the next one I don't know what the order was for this. I'm just going to talk about these things. So last week I made these earrings, these uh, sunflower earrings, and I'm just going to pop them into my ears because I didn't make earrings to replace them. What I did make was a necklace that I used the same design, the same motif for the pendant part. And then I posted a video connecting it to this daisy chain. It's just a bead woven daisy chain. And just look at this. All three. I love it. <laughs> I'm so happy with this. But then I also, when I made up a little mock up of a second one to do um, the ladder stitch. Um, bail on it. Um, I went ahead and strung it on some silver silk. It's on some pipe chain that it goes really well with. And I used different colors for my, instead of a sunflower, I've got more of a daisy. So it's just two completely different looks, but use this using the same pattern. And I kind of love that for it. I'm definitely going to do a red one for Christmas time so that I have a little poinsettia because that will look awesome. And so I made those and then, and then, and then I made a necklace. No, then I made earrings with, I was reminded somebody um, went and, and made a comment cause they were watching some of my old videos about this, uh, little technique that I was like, oh, here, if you make a little loop with the the tiny beads and then you put the ends of your wire through your coin bead, you can just lock it into place around it and have little decorations around your coin beads and they don't flip around or anything. So I pulled out the last month's Sam's bead box because I hadn't quite gotten the new month yet. <laughs> And I just made some bluebird earrings using that little method. And I did a tutorial for that. And, you know, not all of my, my uh, earring videos were shorts. I did do some tutorials even for just the earrings so that you all can watch them um, just in case tutorials or the shorts are hard for you. But I am having fun doing the shorts. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do shorts every time I make tutorials or do videos. Um, it's just a little extra administrative overhead for me. <laughs> and sometimes all I need want to do is just make some jewelry, upload a video, and then, you know, go back about my day. So then I got the new Sam's Bead box and I made this necklace. And honestly, like y'all, I am in my silver silk era <laughs> right now <laughs> because I grabbed some silver silk out of my stash to go with the beads from the newest Sam Speed Box. This is the Chateau and Bloom. And this is how it looks on, let me get it done up in the back here. All right. So let me move my shirt out of the way just a little bit so you can see where that hangs like that. Oh, and my top is uh, the Cascadas Tea. It's by Susanna Icy, and I can put a link to her pattern on Ravelry um, if y'all wanted to make this top. I am wearing it over a dress though because the lace goes down quite a ways. You know? so it's definitely a wear it over a tank sort of a top. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I mean. But yeah, th that's that's the top that I'm wearing is, is that one. But anyway, that was the one that I made. And then I made some earrings to go with it. These little drops and dangles. And like, it's just a really soft, romantic color palette. 
and I kind of love that for us. It's like muted colors. And I love bright colors, but I love muted. I just love all colors. <laughs> is it is it wrong to have your favorite be like everybody? Is that is that okay? Can I? <laughs> that would that should be fun. All right, and then my Saturday earrings were these and these are the ones that I did not make a tutorial for because I followed the tutorial that Miele did for TGBE. This is from the his TGBE kit that I believe he still has some available on his website um, and I'll put a link to those in the description and the Kit is a really good deal because you get all of the beads that you need to make a necklace, earrings, and a bracelet. I haven't done the bracelet yet, but I did do the necklace. Um, and it has all of the findings that you need for it too, which like sometimes the silver silk findings can be a little pricey, but like I did these and these are gem duos and it's bead woven without any beading thread. It's just using some 28 gauge wire, which was really fun. It was so fun to do that. Um, so he did a really, really great, easy to follow presentation and tutorial. So yeah, it's just gem duos and some 28 gauge wire and it, you get something pretty like this. So that's what I did Saturday. And then next, I think that's almost all of them. Then I did my painting and jewelry, my watercolor and jewelry thing, which is, it's just one of my favorite little exercises to do. It's one of my favorite things. I'm just gonna pull up that painting and show it to you so you don't have to sit through the whole thing, but this is it. And it was Blooming Branches is the theme for the Bargain Bead Box for April. And they had all of these like pretty springy colors. And I was like, you know what? Let's use those and let's make some blooming trees. And so I made a necklace to go with it. Oh, and my earrings are hooked on here. But I also made earrings to go with it too. Let me get the that one in here. But yeah, so my my necklace has all of those same colors. It's got the greens, it's got the purples, it's got the pinks. Um, my pinks there might be a little bit brighter than the pinks here because of, I mean, red buds are a brighter pink. They're not that soft pink like with cherry blossoms, like the Sakura colors. But, there we go. So I made this yesterday, actually, on Sunday. There you go. So we've got those. So that is everything that I've made up to today for this last week. And so probably next Sunday, we're going to be like one thing short. Maybe, no, we're not going to be one thing short. And here's why. It's because this week I am attending the Jesse James Beads um, beads and blooms event, which is, you know, they've got classes and presentations and all sorts of people. So I'm going to be making things with them. Um, which means that I'm not going to be doing as many tutorials. I apologize for that. Um, but I'm going to be busy making some of those things. So I'll show you everything that I make during that on my wrap up video, but I am going to be doing some unboxings and when I do my unboxings I'm gonna make some earrings at least earrings I might make other things depends on what I'm inspired to do during the unboxing videos so I'm getting ready to after I'm done recording this open up the Jesse James mystery magical mystery bead box that I just got this is for April so I'm gonna be opening this one up I'm gonna make some earrings with it that's gonna be my today's earrings um, so probably after you see this I might be done with that one and have it uploaded but but we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens but I also ooh, forgot to to show you something else that I made I made this bracelet right um, and it is again silver silk era 
it is hollow mesh and hollow mesh is basically just that that knitted mesh that goes around the ball chain or around the pipe chain but it's it's hollow there's nothing in it there's it's not around anything and so you can shove little beads inside of it or you can put it all over some leather or you can put it over um, some memory wire or some other things like that. Neely has a lot of tutorials on how you can do things with it for that. But he's also kind of revamping his line. And so he's going to have some changes. And he was doing clearance on this Proless Color Mesh, which is sparkly. And I love sparkles. And it's pink. So I was like, well, okay, twist my arm. I'll get some of that. And I've got like a couple boxes of this now. But, um, and I think actually this color might actually still be on their site. I'll double check. If it is, I'll put a link directly to it if you wanted to get some too. But basically, I was like, what happens if I just twist the hollow mesh between the beads when I put them in there? And I did it. And it's great. And it's like supple, you know, <laughs> it has movement and it's, it's really fun. And so I am actually going to be doing a tutorial on how to do this. Um, I was just playing with this on my own outside of the the, the YouTube sphere. Um, and someone has asked if I would please do a tutorial on it. So I will do a tutorial on this. Um, I'll probably make a necklace and earrings to go with my bracelet. But the the concept will be the same. You do basically the same thing for all of them. But I've got, I've got it all planned out. So sometime this week we'll have this tutorial. We'll also have some unboxings and everything that I unbox I'm going to be making something with. Just so I can fit that in. Um, because I'm also going to be making things with the JJB event. Um, I'm not a, an instructor. I'm attending as a student to the, the JJB event. It's going to be pretty fun. Um, I got my kit last week and it's pretty great. And I'm excited to see what's in this, uh, this bead box. I don't think that I need to wait to, um, make my unboxing of that public because they've already been uh, publishing some tutorials. So spoilers have been had. Um, if you haven't got yours and you want to wait to watch my unboxing until after you get yours, then just ignore the notification when it pops up that says I am, I'm, I, I did that one so, so that you won't get spoiled. But yeah, yeah, that's, that's the plans for today. That's what we're going to do. Um, and, you know, I've been biting off more than I can chew. That's something I do sometimes, bite off more than I can chew. And I've just had to, I had to take a step back on Sunday and say, okay, I can only do this, this, or this. I can't do all of them. And so that's why my weekly wrap up got pushed to today. So I'm sorry if you were looking forward to that, but I'm glad that maybe you got a chance to, to wrap up with me today on a Monday. It's fine. It's fine. Days are just, you know, we make up days. Days, days don't matter. You know, it's, it's, it's arbitrary. Time is weird because, you know, we just made it up and we're like, we're just going to count things by this much. <laughs> oh man. But I just, uh, there was one thing too. One more thing before I go is that, uh, when I posted my art and jewelry on the um, the Facebook group for uh, Bargain Beadbox, someone commented that I'm so free and fearless, and I just need to just set the record straight on there. I am not fearless. I am afraid of so many things, um, including um, afraid of showing y'all what I make. And the thing is. I am afraid, but I do it anyway, because I've found that any of those fears that I invent in my head, any of those things that my head is like, people aren't going to like it, they're going to think you're dumb, all of these negative things that my brain might tell me, um, I have found that that part of my brain has no grasp of reality. Like, it's not, like, it just makes things up. It's a big, big fat liar. Um, because for the most part, I have really positive responses and I have really great reactions to things, but I still get that fear. I still get that like gut clenching fear whenever I go to upload something of 
everybody's gonna hate me, everybody's gonna laugh at me, everybody's gonna be like, mm, no, I don't like her, I'm not gonna watch her videos. I get that. I am not fearless. I just do it anyway, even when I'm afraid. So I would like to issue a challenge to y'all for this week, that if there's something that you're just a little afraid of, do it anyway. You know, just one thing. Pick one thing that you're just a little bit afraid of and do it anyway. Just be, don't be fearless because that's not, that's not reality. That's not how life actually is. Fear is a gift sometimes. It warns us away from danger. It's something that, that you can use to keep yourself safe. But when your fear is keeping you from doing things, it's not so helpful. So be afraid and do it anyway. And I hope you all have a great week. Thanks for being with me.